Hi everyone, I'm Shima. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. So last few weeks, we already brought you to a quick walk on our mud crab farm. So you might be questioning, is it that easy to build a farm indoor despite having a good vertical recirculating aquaculture system? Well, you might fail to notice some of the requirements for the mud crab farm that we didn't realize in the first place that we need it. So usually we will improve the farm according to the problem that arises in the future. So let's see what are the aspects that farmers usually overlook during the farming. Let's go. Wet area or washing is one of the aspects. Wet area usually used as the waste management, washing the trays and disinfection process. It is important that the wet area has a water resource and the area should have enough space to work. Another thing is for the drain. Dead crab or leftover feed often gets washed away to the drain if not removed from the leftover fell or containers. After some time, it might clog the drain especially if you discharge undecomposed materials such as string, plastic or your K1 media. Here as a precaution to avoid the clog, we use a barrier so that the leftover or the dead shrimp legs can still be handpicked and thrown inside the rubbish bin. Sometimes, when you are disinfecting or changing water, you need to have a bigger hose for the water to drain out. During the disinfection, you will use a lot of water. So if the drain holes are not big enough, it might cause a flood to the wet area and lead to a difficulties to work. Okay, now let's walk uh, to the side of the crab house. So as you can see here, we built a cement barrier. Before this, we have an issue due to the leaking or overflowing water from the crab house. The water was spilled all over the floor and we have to spend a long time cleaning back the water. Besides, we might waste the water and salt as we need to remake the salt water to increase back the water volume. This happens during the night time where there are no one to monitor the farm. So by building this barrier, we can ensure the water overflow or leak from the crab house will flow back into the system. Interestingly, you can see here we paint the barrier with yellow color. This is to alert the operator or visitor on the cement barrier. When we walk into the system, our focus might be on the crab house. So we might not notice the cement barrier below. You might kick the cement and hurt your leg, especially when you are not wearing boots. And along this crab house, we put barricades. This is a precaution step so that when the crab escapes from the house, they cannot go out of the system. If there are no barricades placed in the front of the crab house, it would cause difficulty to find the crab. Maybe you found the crab, it's already dead. And if it's only one or two crabs in a, one day, it will cause losses for a long run. So better to place barricades to secure the losses. We put the barricades at both sides of the block. So another requirement for the crab farm is the packing area. You need to make sure that the packing area is convenient to work in. In our farm, the packing area is in front of the holding tank. So that every time you would like to pack for customers, you can quickly pack from the holding tank. Not only that, the packing area should have a big space. This is very helpful, especially when you have lots of orders and you need space to put and organize the crab boxes or polystyrene. In the packing area, trolley and weighing scale is the most crucial equipment. Make sure you have spare of these two equipment. So overall, this is the precaution and requirement. It does not need a large area to fit in everything including the weight area, drain, barricades and packing area. We provide a free floor plan for you too. So please click the link at the description to download and review. Thank you for watching.
Thank you. 